Hello everyone and welcome back to another stream with me, Bajakolio. And today we'll be kicking off a brand new series once again. Yeah, I know, what a week. So today I'm going to embark on a nice little nostalgia trip down uh, memory lane playing one of my favorite games of all time, Fallout 1. This game is now about 22 years old, I think. And uh, I think I should give it a good old try. Once again, for old time's sake. I have turned off the music for today, because uh, there are some pretty nice ambient sounds and music throughout the game, and I thought it'd be good to at least from the start, give you a taste of it. Let's just watch through the intro. never changes the romans waged war to gather slaves and wealth oh Spain yeah that is an empire from a hell of an adventure territory hitler shaped a battered germany into an economic superpower i'm just gonna let the intro run out war and then i'll uh, start talking again in the 21st century people can actually enjoy it over the resources that could be acquired only this time the spoils of war were also its weapons petroleum and uranium for these resources china would invade alaska the u.s would annex canada and the european commonwealth would dissolve into quarreling bickering nation states bent on controlling the last remaining resources on earth in 2077 the storm of world war had come again in two brief hours most of the planet was reduced to cinders and from the ashes of nuclear devastation a new civilization would struggle to arise. A few were able to reach the relative safety of the large underground vaults. Your family was part of that group that entered Vault 13. Imprisoned safely behind the large vault door under a mountain of stone, a generation has lived without knowledge of the outside world. Life in the vault is about to change. Right, so this brings us back, uh, and um, 
gives us a little bit of an insight on what the setting of the game is. Considering the recent releases, I think more or less everyone is aware of what setting of Fallout is, but I just wanted to give a nice shout out to the original intro. Yeah, on the topic of making the house ready, hey there, Ping in Space, how you doing? Uh, I really need to, to re do some serious repairs on the bathroom and I have been putting it off for a while now. And we have a... Oh, okay. Let's just take a quick look at it. Hopefully it'll, it won't kill the game. Alright, I will keep that for a little bit later. Okay. I left the uh, resolution to spread out as much as possible, just in case someone actually is watching on the phone, and I guess I was right to do so. Really beautiful. That is a uncharacteristic um, treat from GW, but... I'm not going to complain. All we've done so far is just look through the intro, narrated by Ron Perlman, of course. For everyone who doesn't know. All right. So it's just a little bit of an update. So what I'm playing today is um, going to be with the Fallout fixed patch. It restores some of the unfinished quests, I think a couple of them, and gives a little bit of uh, quality of life improvements and whatnot, uh, tiny tweaks, and some graphical changes to make some of the characters look more unique. Thought it'd be good. It wouldn't really hurt the overall feel of the game. Oh, okay, so... Nice, I will have a nice read through that after the stream, but thank you for sharing that, it is most useful. In terms of options uh, for the game preferences, I'll be playing this on normal, everything normal, maximum blood for the violence level, of course. Target highlight will be on. <laughs> yeah, you did put a lot of effort in those compilations. That is true. And we all appreciate it. For real. Uh, we'll be having the uh, verbose combat messages. Combat flows for uh, the occasional taunts. No language filter, because there is some pretty decent swearing in the game. I won't be running all the time, but I can always switch that. There will be subtitles. Items will be highlighting just for uh, my own ease. Um, I've tweaked the combat speed the faster. Maybe I should go to fastest, but I'm not really sure. I'll see how it goes for now. And in terms of audio, I think things are about as normal as they will be. Stop it now. So let's jump into the game. Right, so as mentioned before, I would like to actually give a Fallout um, a try in actually role-playing the game. So, playing as a uh, rather imperfect um, character that would be slightly good at some things, but will learn different things along the way, rather than uh, genetically engineer him to be a uh, perfect uh, creature for a perfect task. 
And I will try to approach it through um, that character's uh, point of view. So, I think it would be a good idea to use the actually very hated um, characters that are pre-built for the game. So, we have Max Stone, who is the... Uh, um, the Brute, we have Natalia, who I think should be the, uh, the word I'm looking for, the Rogue of the game, and then we have Albert, who is the Sweet Talker of the gang, and uh, yeah, that's about it. Now, I'm not partially... Um, too kind towards Max here. So I'm mostly wondering between Natalia and Albert. So, do you, does any one of you have preferences to either one or the other? As we can see, Natalia is uh, exceptionally heroically. Agile, pretty charismatic, pretty intelligent, um, endurant for some reason, not very strong, and a little bit lucky. And her starting skills are sneaks to kill, uh, sneak, steal, and unarmed combat. Also, he has she has the uh, night person and gifted. Rates. Whereas Albert is very charismatic. Oh, he has horrible agility though. That'll be significant handicap to uh, to go through. Bit lucky. Deceptive. But he does have small guns, speech, barter, and is also skilled. Yeah, I'm thinking on Albert too. Although combat-wise, he will be he will be hard to play with on agility four. But... Alrighty, no worries. So yeah, are we gonna go for Albert? I think, I think so. Let's take a look at his personal bio data, just to get an idea of what his uh, character actually is. So he happens to be a charismatic leader of a small vocal minority of the Volt population that is considering a life on the outside world. Dedicated to the role of a negotiator, he is often able to communicate efficiently between different parties. His professed occupation is closest to what was once known as a lawyer. Albert is often able to convince others that his ideas are correct. Which sadly really doesn't give me much of an idea on what kind of an actual person he is like hmm. so what will albert be would he be uh, more of a golden tongue make everyone happy kind of guy or more along the lines of um spiky and bitey trying to instigate stuff hmm I think being close to a lawyer, he would have to be the trying to make everyone happy kind of guy. As in um, being diplomatic and trying not to ruffle too many feathers. Which, unfortunately, is pretty much how everyone always plays this game. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, he is good-natured. 
in addition to that. Oh well, I guess a diplomatic approach it is. Not going to be as... Uh, How should I say this? Um, uh, as wall breaking as uh, initially intended, but we will make it work. Rightio, so we will be embarking on our journey as Albert, the charismatic leader who is also good natured and uh, skilled. That'll do. Let's take it. Ah, you're here. Good. We've got a problem. A big one. The controller chip for our water purification system has given up the ghost. Can't make another one. The process is too complicated for a workaround system. Simply put, we're running out of drinking water. No water. No vault. This is crucial to our survival. And frankly, I think you're the only hope we have. You need to go find us another controller chip. We estimate we have four to five months before the vault runs out of water. We need that chip. We marked your map with the location of another vault. Not a bad place to start, I think. Look, just be safe, okay? And so our adventure begins. into the rat cave and here we are now let's see so first of all a few things you may notice uh, some of the colors are a little bit different from the original i did set that uh, previously and as far as I remember, there are a little bit um, some tweaks into the uh, starting equipment based on your skills and stats. We'll be looking at those in just a moment. For that, the most important screen, which unfortunately my portrait is hiding, so... Uh, let me... Give me a second to figure out what the best positioning of my um, face will be. I should have done that beforehand, but it wasn't the case. This is chat, however. Now I think here, yeah, here isn't obstructing anything at all. Right then, small tweak. And as anyone who's ever played the game knows, uh, the dialogue screen is pretty important as it gives you a lot of information throughout the game. And in this case, it gives us a little bit of insight as to how our character is feeling. Never before have you seen a natural darkness like this one. It almost looks unnatural to you. And yes, as you can see, we have some additional animations, such as... Uh, Smoking for idle animations. Considering I am a smoker myself, you can imagine that it would have been pretty hard not to uh, take this change along. So yeah, these are the starting changes. As you can see, we are starting off with a decent amount of Mantats, which... 
with intelligence 6, I don't think we'll ever need to use, probably just sell them off. But... Let's see what the game has to tell us about them. Fill box of powerful, mind-altering drugs. They increase memory-related functions and speeds other mental... Uh, speeds up other mental processes. It is highly addictive. We have also a water flask. It is a container, also called a canteen, designed for the holding and preservation of water or other liquids. Before the Great War, these were commonly used by hikers, campers, soldiers and workers in the field. And it has some weight to it. Also, we have two flares, which create light for a short period of time. The paper is a little worn, but is otherwise in good condition. Twist the top to activate it. Impacts, of course, one of the most important items throughout the game. A stimulation delivery package is a handheld portable healing unit that consists of a syringe for containing and delivering the medication and a gauge for measuring the status of the steam pack's contents. When injected, it provides immediate healing of medium wounds and minor tissue damage, with no side effects to it. I wonder if we will ever reach a point where we will have such technology available to us. We have also a hefty bunch of bullets. And uh, many people will say that that's a bit much considering the uh, old starting amount. But considering that um, uh, I'll be mostly randomly walking about trying to figure out what's going on, or at least pretending that I'm doing so, it's a good idea to have a bit more ammo at the start. It is a 10 millimeter jacketed hollow point uh, amount of rounds. And our starting gun happens to be a 10 millimeter pistol, a Colt 6520 10 millimeter auto loading pistol. Each pull of the trigger will automatically reload the firearm until the magazine is empty. Single shot only using the powerful 10 millimeter round Minimum strength 3, 12 out of 12 shots of 10mm jacket hollow point. And we actually have uh, 84 bullets. Hell of a story. And since we do have that much plentiful ammunition, I don't think that there is any point bearing it. So I will put it in item 2. The reason for this is because um, I would like to have my main arm empty because some of the locals may not respond kindly to me wielding um, firearms walking about. What do we have here? Happens to be a bunch of bones. Let's inspect them first. This happens to be good old Ed, who also happens to be very dead. Search the dude, we got 24 rounds of um, armor, pier uh, armor piercing bullets, as well as a knife. We'll be taking all of these. So this is one of the um, quality of life improvements. They added the, icon, the button to take everything. Oh so, yeah, as can as. Uh, it is the armor piercing. Now, uh, the mod and the patch that I'm running, I think, actually balances out the um, the issues with the damage modifiers that were initially present in the game. So it should work. It should actually work as armor piercing instead of being mostly worthless. And the knight. The knife is a uh, sharp bladed cutting and stabbing weapon, shockingly. So, where are we at? So, the overseer sent us on a quest, 
to find a water chip. He gave us a um, location to which to travel, and we will be going to it. Let us do so right away. I will just click on it because this is the only thing that I have information that my character at least has information for. And oh, what happened? We are in fact in combat. Switch over to our gun and see how things are going with this fur. We have 95% chance to hit. Miraculously didn't kill the rat. I'll just use the remainder to reload. Well, now let's use it to give us some additional armor class. And the rat is now dead. There was an option to make critters uh, drop ammo and stuff, but it would have been too much, so I turned it off. All right, again, let's move along. And it would appear that we have encountered another rat. A couple of them, actually. This time we, get, we do get the kill straight away. And I will move away in case the rat wants us to fight, appear to be the case, still not engaging, oh okay, and we have now been hit for 4 hit points, well, these critters hit hard for starting enemies. Used to be a couple points of damage if I'm not mistaken. Now while there are some uh, items I think in this corner of, uh, of the screen as well as a decent amount of XP from killing the rats I don't think I will be dabbling in this, simply because it wouldn't make sense for the character. If you think this isn't true at any point in time, please feel free to correct me. As you may notice on the uh, Twitch tags, I have explicitly noted that uh, backseat gaming is allowed and encouraged. So let's try and give ourselves a wee bit of a heal. We have 61% on uh, first aid. Actually managed to... Three, four, five... Ah, doesn't work here. Okay, and we can heal once again. There we go, back at full health. Am I right? Am I right? Good. Here comes another rat. Yeah, he probably... Just defend himself. Sorry about me doing the constantly uh, activating the start menu bar. I'll be using the arrows to move the, the camera. Hey there, Games World GW. Thank you very much for the follow and welcome to the stream. How are you doing on this lovely evening? Do 
Meanwhile, we do get a bit more insight on what's happening. To the west, you can see a natural light. For the first time in your life, you are looking at the outside world. Lovely. So let's bravely go where no vote dweller has gone before. We'll be going straight towards Vault 15. Although it wouldn't be much of a surprise to anyone to know that we will probably stop along the way. Oh, we do get a random encounter consisting of rat scorpions. Now again, let us ask the question that... At the end of this series, you will probably be very sick of hearing, which is, what would my character do in this situation? And uh, considering that there should be an easy-ish way out of here... Yeah, I think... I think I'm just gonna make a run for it. Well, I'm going to make Albert make a run for it. Where is the... Yep, run away! However, where is the shortest way to do this so I don't spend a million turns running about? I go... Yeah, this is gonna be it. However, they will probably catch up to me. A turn or two. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So we have uh, diplomatically avoided confrontation with uh, the mind of our legs. Radio, even onward. What is this then? A unknown location. Well, we have been traveling for quite a while. Character. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, I did remember to double click. To save some time. So let's go to this unknown location, probably for some well-deserved rest. We happen to be greeted by uh, A.D. Sands Welcoming Committee. And it happens to be also a peaceful looking village. So let's have a quick talk to the person who greeted us. Good day, I'm Gold Seth. How can I help you? And. Oh, thank you, Games World. Thank you very much for the host. How did you find us, by the way? So yeah, not much of a role-playing opportunity here, I'm just gonna ask for some more information. But we do have options. Again, not really much in that case. So Shady Sands is a peaceful community. We have our irrigation system so we can grow our own food. If we were not plagued with raiders and rat scorpions, we would have no problems. Now, Considering that uh, our character happens to be more of a social kind, let's just, uh, let's firstly inquire on the raiders. There are several groups of raiders. I organize guards like Ian to help fight them off. Uh, there is one band to the southeast of here. Watch out for them. Uh, let me have some more information, in this case for the red scorpions. Those damn uh, rat scorpions have been after our brahmin since we moved here. Not a week goes by that someone doesn't get poisoned trying to keep them out of the pens 
last week they took my brother Jarvis Raslo, our doctor is uh, looking for an antidote as quickly as he can. Uh, if you have the means to help us, why don't you talk to our leader, Aradish? Now in most playthroughs, you usually just uh, right away want to get taken to the rat scorpion caves. But it wouldn't really make sense in this case. At the very least, we have been advised to talk to the leader first, which we shall do. Is there anything else that we can uh, find out here? Nope. You should speak to Aradish, our leader. He likes to meet all our visitors. He should be in our town hall, the building to the south. Done and done. Now, because of the perspective, south doesn't actually mean down on the map. It means a little bit this way. Right. Should we... Should we take a walk about town, try and find out what's going on, or should we just do as uh, we have been advised and go to the leader? I do think that for the time being we're just going to follow instructions. We are, after all, in a unknown village, although... It does appear to be friendly. We have no really no real idea on the matter. So it might be a good idea to start sailing here. Yeah, so looking around as far as, let's say, uh, at eyes length, and if the inspection button gives us any idea as to something that might be a point of interest, we would uh, go to it. Does that feel alright? Because, you know, you would be walking down the street looking left and right, but mostly trying to find something that catches your eye, rather than uh, start walking into people's houses and shit. So, this happens to be just a wall, and, uh, yeah, nothing here. Still a wall. And a pillar. The pillar is the showpiece of the Shady Sand Square. It tells stories to remind the people of hope and peace. That's nice. So again, there is no sign on this door, no indication that there is anything. Note. Well, we are being taught, uh, chatted up. Sadly, that's about as far as this conversation will go, it would appear. Yeah, maybe it would have made more sense to... Get some signs on the doors. Please, such a, an approach to the game, but we'll see. So let's move southward further still, as we have been advised to. And this is about as south as we can get. And we have two options. Left or the right. Is there any written information that this happens to be the town hall? Nope. Okay, well, let's play dumb and uh, try the building on the left. Whoops, this happens to be someone's home, it appears. 
Let's talk to the named character in the middle of the room. I'm Raslo, how can I help you? I don't really need healing right now, do I? I haven't been poisoned either. Hmm. Well, I suppose that's a fairly short conversation here. You look distraught. Are you in need of assistance? Nope, not not currently. Well, it was a pointless endeavor. So let's go to the right. Take a look there. I'm going to have to find a way to play this in full screen uh, because the great drugs. Yeah, that does make sense. Let's have a good old barter. What does he have? He has 46 bottle caps, which is the currency in the game, and a couple of stem packs. What we have on our hand is a water flask. Although, I don't think someone venturing throughout the uh, wastes would actually be very keen on uh, parting with the only container for water that he has available. Probably not what you would like to trade. The knife is always a useful utility. Again, maybe not what you'd like to sell. The mantats do seem the logical thing to do. I remember correctly, these particular stem packs should be quite expensive. Or not really. Okay. So let's, uh, let's get some currency. Maybe this is how uh, we get introduced to the game currency. This is quite, quite a bad deal. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> I don't know. I'll probably get tired at some point and I'm just gonna start blitzing through the game, but I want to see how far I can take it. Alright, how much does the knife cost? 40 bucks. And the flares, 110. So let's come off 73. And have that. One fourteen. Ah. It's not at all of use, but again, this is your only source, uh, your only container of water, and I think it may or may not even not have a value. It's... Oh, it does have a value. Okay. I don't know. Walking through the wasteland, I wouldn't be giving away my canteen. Wouldn't be giving away the knife either, for that matter, but... Nah. Hello again, I'm just stopping by. It was nice seeing you again, have a good day. Right, well, we did obtain one stem pack. A mysterious currency. Hello, hello back. Would it be weird to see Tandy and ask, Hi, I heard 
heard there was a traveler in town, but I was kind of skeptical until I saw you. My name's Tandy. What's yours? My name's Albert. Well, how do you like our little town? Bored yet? Again, being diplomatic, I wouldn't really try to uh, rub her the wrong way, so we would probably want some information. So it's okay. Can I ask her a few questions, though? Sure, I guess. I've never been out of here, so I don't know what help I can be. So, what you need? What else is around here? There's a bunch of cities down south, but since you're such a great traveler, I'm sure you know that already. Huh, thanks. No problem. Anything else? What's going on here? Rad scorpions. I mean, I know it's not a good thing, but no one's died from the stings, and it's the closest thing to excitement we've got here. <clears throat> Why would I be asking this? Have you heard any stories from down south? Thanks. No problem. Anything else? Do well, you like it here? It's pretty friendly. Yeah, that's okay, I guess. I mean, it is home and all, but it's so boring. You know, I want to see the world. No. Would we instigate adventure or? Yeah, it seems nice and safe here. I think. I did ask you previously if you wanted me to uh, uh, to read out in different sorts of ways, but I think it's better to just keep to reading as it is. I don't know. Seems nice and safe here would be the best bet, I think. Yeah, real safe. And so boring, I think my brain's going to leak out of my ear at any moment. Well, in our bio, it said that uh, Albert was actually leading a small but vocal minority in favor of leaving the vault. So I think he would have sympathy for uh, Tandy here wanting to get some more excitement. So I think that we should dig a little deeper into her motives for staying. So why don't you leave? Me? Leave? I wish. I don't know enough to leave alone, and no one else wants to go. And worst of all, my father says he would have a heart attack if something happened to me. Both answers here are a bit stiff. Tough situation. Can I ask her a few questions, sure, though? I guess. I've never been out of here, so I don't know what help I can be. So, what you need? There's nothing else to inquire about. Oh well. Well, that's about it. Thanks for your time. Well, thanks for talking. We don't get many strangers here, so it's always good to talk to new people. Well, see ya. Bye. Okay, is there anything else of interest here? There happens to be a table, nicely made table, handmade, but it looks much nicer than any other table you've ever seen. Okay. Lovely. So let's talk to the strange cloaked feller. Greetings. Your business in Shady Sands might be... Would there be a reason for us to lie at this point? I don't think so. So, I'm from a vault to the west. My people are dying of thirst and I need to find a water purifier chip for them to survive. Wanderer, I shall believe you for now. You may enter Shady Sands, but be warned, your every move will be watched. I was wondering if I could ask her a few questions. 
What do you wish to know? Well, it wouldn't make sense to start off with uh, what else outside of town is happening, so might as well try to start locally. What's going on around here? Oh my, yes. Great packs of rad scorpions are killing our herds. We don't know where they're from, and no matter how many we kill, there's always more. Is he a liar? Hmm. Or do you want him to be a liar? Because I don't remember his, uh, his bio specifying this. Either way, I've already taken this path for this conversation, but if you want to play him as a, as a liar, we can work with that. Go on. And now the monsters are attacking my people. Roslo is trying to find a cure for their poison, but I'm not sure how it goes. And there is literally zero reason for me to try and help them. <sighs> Let's walk about the question route again. That's terrible. Can I ask you a few more questions? Ah, uh, a lawyer, yeah, yeah. That, that doesn't mean a liar, not by any means. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, Claw Palmer, would you care to comment on this? <laughs> That is terrible. Can I ask you a few more questions? Certainly. What do you wish to know? Well, what is going on about other towns around here? Junk Town lies south of here, though there is little in the way of visitation. From stories, I'm certain there are cities south of that. Certainly. What do you wish to know? Right, let's go back to the tree for the quest. Oh my, yes. Great packs. And now the monsters are attacking my people. Roslo is trying to find a cure for their poison, but I'm not sure how it goes. <laughs> so, here is an idea of uh, why we may want to help them. If you remember, we had a random encounter uh, with rat scorpions on our way here. And it may be possible, so we are technically acquainted with the creatures. And in having fear that we may need to do so again, we might probably need to have uh, antivenom. In that way, I think that we could help them with the rat scorpions. But would we want a price for that? Would we want it? Would we want to do it for a price? Hmm. I mean, we already have our uh, secondary motives of being helpful, which is to obtain a um, cure for the poison. Would we want more? We did barter with uh, Raslo, so we know that there is uh, currency. We might want to request... Hmm. He was good-natured, yep. So, uh, we will be doing this uh, out of the kindness of our hearts. Thanks for the reminder.
Yeah, yeah, uh, it's a good reminder. He is good natured. So he would actually want to help out if possible. Yeah, that, that makes things easy for the future as well. So, yeah, I'll help you get rid of those things. Mm, yes, 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 yes. Please talk to Razlo. He possesses far more information on these creatures than I. Okay, so back to Razlo we go. What was good natured, by the way? Anyone remember? Spent more time than normal studying non combative skills. Growing up, plus 15% to first aid, doctor, speech, and barter, but minus 10% to small guns, big guns, energy weapons. Ish. Not exactly the description I was looking for, but. Doesn't give us a uh, morality compass in any way, but let's uh, let's just take it for the uh, for the word that it is. So good natured. Let's think that we are just a friendly dude who wants to help out. Boring as that may be. Would we look around? We would try to maybe speak to someone. I'm too busy to talk right now. I've got to sit uh, to get this meal ready. Mmm, that smells really good. I bet it tastes great. Why, thank you. I'm sure you will enjoy it. Thanks for the compliment. I'm going to tell all my friends about you. Yeah, he does, yeah. He does. I'm uh, just trying to figure out a way Figure out what would um, what would make us go to him. Like uh, Seth did let us know that Ian is in town. He told us that there is a guard. Yeah, yeah, but he hasn't told us where he is. Well, let's just play it around as uh, walking by the house. We just uh, kind of see him there and want to talk to him. Yeah, would that work? I think it works. However, we will talk to Razlo first now that we have our quest on. This dog is probably in the way. Annoyingly so. Can I push the dog? Or do I even need to? Nope, okay. How can I help you? Well, what do you know about rat scorpions? This is a hell of a way to start a conversation, by the way. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, you're right. Not too much. They seem... They seem to be extremely large versions of the North American Emperor Scorpion. Contrary to my medical knowledge, their poison has grown more potent, not diluted as I would expect. Seth has been hunting them, which helps some of my tests. And how such a large creature can even be possible by natural evolution or even radiation-induced mutation is beyond me. You seem well educated. What are you doing here? Doc Morbid in Junktown taught me some. And just because we live in stone huts does not mean we are less intelligent or educated. Have a nice day. Oh, that might have offended him a little bit. Let's see if we'll get the other... Okay, anything else? They seem to be sensitive to light. Nocturnal. If I could get a sample of their poison, especially the venom production sac located in their tail, I could create an anti-venom. Thank you! That was a pretty key thing here. Although, why would he be offended by me calling him educated is beyond me. 
Right, so we are walking past the gate. Past the first door on the gate. Taking a look through the window or door, and what do we see? Hmm, not Ian. We see armed people. Be one of Shady Sands guards. Well, it would only make sense for us if we have owned already found the guards to probably ask at least for advice, if not help. Welcome, stranger. We don't see your kind often. Why not? Look, Shady Sands don't need your kind from the hub or junk town or wherever you come from. We do pretty good by ourselves. The last trader from the hub sold us a malfunctioning irrigation pump. We've had it with your dirty deals. You got it all wrong, I'm not like that. Well, maybe you aren't. You do seem a little different to me. I'll tell you what, you should go talk to Aradish. He's in the center of town. Okay, game, why are you making this so hard? Interesting. Finally crafted wooden bowl. But it ain't blood bowl. Well, you look different from the others. A short, stocky man. Who could that possibly be? Wink, wink. Hello, stranger. You look like you're new here. What's your name? I'm Albert. Good to meet you. I mean... Uh, what do you do here, you obviously guard-looking fellow? I was a guard for the merchants from the hub. However, I was shot during a raid by bandits. I've been staying here since the people have helped me recover. Still, my knowledge of the outside world and my experience make me useful here. Haiti Sands is my home now. Occasionally, I even get to visit Junktown or the hub to do some training. Trading. Uh, since I'm the only person here who has ever really left town. I'm oh, sorry to hear. Yeah, well, we are good natured, so it would um, we would show some compassion. So sorry to hear about your injury. Thanks. It's been healing up well. Thanks to Razlo. What can I help you with? Mm -hmm. Well, could you help me out a bit? Your experience would be useful. Let's go! It would be good to get back into action. Well, that was easy. Uh, in my usual playthroughs, I don't think I start with a high enough speech to pass this check. So I actually have to uh, get her, what was it, a hundred bucks or something? Get him to come along. Okay, but now that we're together, let's have a chat. What can I do for you, Albert? Yikes. Um, can you give me directions to the hub in Junktown? Because I've already heard of these names. Hub is a big trading center far south of Shady Sands. It's run by several different caravan groups of merchants. The water merchants, Crimson Caravan, and the Fargo traders. Junktown is a little south and a ways west. It's smaller, but still a good place to drop in for a drink. It's overseen by a fellow by the name of Killian Darkwater, the local shopkeeper, sheriff, and mayor. Heh, <laughs> yeah. Thank you. What weapons are you skilled with? 
I'm a good shot with just about any sort of pistol and I can use a submachine gun too. I also know how to handle a knife. Well, we all know how well you use a submachine gun, don't we, Ian? You are not getting one. Let's discuss our combat tactics, since we are going into a Red Scorpion territory. Uh, draw your best weapon, prefer ranged combat, prefer close combat. Well, um, prefer ranged combat, if at all possible. Sure thing, but... And, uh, draw your best weapon? Sure thing, bud. In a loop here. That's over now. And need to change formation. Stay close and walk when close. That would make much sense but I think it's easiest sure thing why no bud nothing never mind Ian any one of you guys want to talk to me welcome stranger I don't see your kind too often and probably gonna go the same way yup right good and you, yep. exactly the same thing. Not so fast, this is a small community, we don't see strangers often and we don't really need them, if you get my meaning. Don't have a good reason to be here, you'd better just keep moving. Hey, I ain't gonna hurt anybody. I wasn't saying that you was gonna. You just better leave us alone. Sick and tired of your trash. Prepare to meet your maker. Yeah. I'll try not to make trouble. And so Ian is now on our side. And all out one, we don't really get to have a good um, dialogue window for using inventory for our party members. Uh, so, um... Is gonna save just in case that uh, the patch fixed this but I hope it didn't so uh, I'm gonna try and steal from him no and what does he have he has plentiful ammunition some cash some stim packs and a gun. Um, right. Since I am the uh, negotiator of the group, I think that I should keep the uh, uh, financial assets of the group. I think that would uh, that would be logical. So yeah, give me your money. Is his gun loaded? Sounds... Ah, can't check. He does have what he needs. Yep. Uh, yes, but barter uh, works in the usual way, as in you have to, uh, if you want to take something from them, you have to give them uh, currency. Let's check. As I, for instance, if I take his uh, ammo, yeah, see, bartering is actually um, like normal with value. I can give them stuff through uh, through this inventory, but I can't take it away.
So I think all that's left now is to talk to Razlo and um, Razlo to Seth at the location of the Red Scorpion Caves. What can I do for you? Uh, I want you to take me to the Red Scorpion Caves. Are you sure you want to give... Uh, are you sure you want me to give you directions to the Red Scorpion Caves? I can't go, but I can show you the way. Yup. The cave mouth beckons you deeper into the lair of the Red Scorpion. Well, make a quick save here. See what we are up against. Oh yeah, we're going against red scorpions, so... Um, you mean uh, that I should have explored the rest of town? The eastern part? No, uh, right now, the both of us can easily take the Red Scorpions, so from a mechanical standpoint, this is a, a sound decision. With similar stats, I usually kill them off uh, by myself. Yeah, it shouldn't be a problem. Also, Ian, at this point of the game, is an actual machine for killing everything that moves. He gets to shoot twice, he's pretty decent as a shot, so shouldn't be a problem. I wanted to take out my gun before getting into combat, as you know, you're going into a dark cave looking for scorpions, you'd probably want to cling to your gun. Let's see, yikes, 35% to hit. Hmm. Oh, take a step forward, 39, step forward, bring us to something. Yeah. Ian will definitely be doing the, uh, Heavy lifting in here. There we go. Ah, oh, items don't highlight. Ah, shit. I always forget that. In uh, Fallout 2, when you hold down ALT on your keyboard, uh, the items that you have a straight line of sight to will have a highlight. In this case, I actually have to see the item and uh, hover over it, see it. That's fine. Oh yeah, a Razzlatotus to collect tails. So let's get as many as we can. How many scorpions are here? Two. Yep. Beautiful shot. Good job, Ian. Kick ass. If I keep doing this, I'm gonna miss critically and drop my gun, aren't I? Oh no, Ian has been hit. 50% go for it. Miserable failure. Because of the darkness, and if I hadn't 
thrown out, uh, if I hadn't bartered away the flares, I could throw a flare down for some illumination and get better chances to hit. But, yeah. What is my, uh, all guns are on 59%, so not horrible. We do see some uh, Jack and Hollow points here. I will be obviously shooting a lot of blanks here. A very large pile of bleached bones. You cannot determine the species of the dead critters. You think these might be horned kangaroo bones, but you cannot be sure. They are too weathered to make a final determination. But there was anything else in this part of the cave, so let's move on. Wandering about. Guns in hand. And a ally at my side. Look yonder. There happens to be another rat scorpion. I will never in a million years hit. I'm just gonna take a couple steps back and let him come to me. Or you can just snipe the ever-loving hell out of him. It's also an option. Okay. Thanks, Ian. Can we take more tails? Yes, we can. They reduced the weight. Mm -hmm. Now, the only problem with taking Ian to this cave is that the experience is uh, getting split between the two of us, I think. But he is doing all the heavy lifting, so it's fair. Large pile of bleached animal bones. At least you think all the bones are animal. And a bunch of rat scorpions. I could. Good. Good. This is good. 35%. What about an aim shot? Have anything better than this? No. Oh well. Then maybe take a couple steps back. Turn. No! Oh, okay. Ooh. Yeah, this is what you get. Ian. 74%. Good. This is the end of that. Yeah. That's good. I'm just, uh... Where would that interest be sparked? Maybe, maybe its uh, its inception is 
in this very cave, as in um, his newly found alliance with Ian. Um, so in the future, finding a cave would remind him of his first sort of quest adventure. And uh, he would like to dig deeper into any cave that he finds. Yeah, that works. Eight percent chance to hit. I'm not taking that. Yeah, no homo. Yeah, I realize it <laughs> sounded a bit in that direction. Right? You know, you found a friend, the first thing you do with that friend is something that usually uh, sticks around, so be it adventuring, killing some uh, rat scorpions and stuff, would probably trigger uh, a reaction further along the way. Do I want to try this? Oh yeah, I mean, Ian's making all these great shots, why can't I? I have obviously worked on my... Uh, skills as a marksman in the vault somehow since it is a tagged skill it implies that I've actually um, learned what is this actually just give me a second, because this is... Hmm. Uh, Richard's just uh, writing me to uh, try and schedule our uh, tabletop game. Okay, well, seems that 50% is just not enough. But Ian, the job. I think I did hit a thing once during this entire Again, thirty-five percent. Is there really a point in wasting bullets at this point? I'm going to hit it. I hit it. And Ian murdered it. Can we do it again? We can, and also run away. Oh, I'm taking a name shot for this. Let's shoot him in. Yeah, Carapace, I guess. I killed one. Everybody, I actually killed one.
here Mexican way for the kill. All three viewers, well, two, I think. Don't know how many have been left. Do the Mexican wave! Why am I still in combat? We have now leveled up. Right. What do we want to level up? Naturally big small guns, since... Uh, as we have been shooting in the dark, we are growing a little bit more accustomed to wielding a weapon. So that makes a nice amount of sense. How much can we here? About yay much? First aid, yeah, uh, I did, I did heal up in the first, uh, cave, so, it would have given me, uh, some knowledge. Also, talking with Raslo, maybe there was more to this conversation, so, some tips and tricks on keeping me alive. Lockpick is nice. But hmm. unless it was a hobby of his during the uh, during his life in the vault. But yeah, so being a um, a vocal minority, I don't know. Do you think that they had secret meetings and such in the vault? So that, let's say, uh, they would want to pick a door to get a more uh, isolated environment in which to have their meetings. Yeah. Alright. So let's just put it at uh, 65 for everyone who experiences light OCDs. And... Go for 40% on lockpick. <laughs> yeah. Um, one in speech. And the rest again in small guns. I think 80% does give us some use. And the save game is also in order. Right, so uh, I guess we won't be playing this weekend. Can I pick more tails? You yeah, know, there's still 20. Why I can pick up so many tails? Uh, there is, but my personal OCD gets scrambled when I quick save because they uh, make too many save slots. Yeah, maybe for the sake of speed, I would. I would start quick saving. I anything of note, more bones, but nothing new. Okay. We mosey on along. And here we have two scorpionagos. 
we only picked the one. Yeah, much better. Wow, okay. That was a good one. Red Scorpion was critically hit for 22 hit points, striking through the tough carapace without pausing. Yeah, see? If you shoot long enough in a uh, general direction towards your enemy, sooner or later you land a good hit. He is currently almost dead, meaning that unless Ian fumbles his shots, we will be just fine. There we go. Oh, second Rat Scorpion comes up. You won't be having much of a good chance against him, though. And the back. Seven, maybe I went too, too back. Very far back. And let's go for the carapace. Now, uh, a fact that I think may not be uh, super well known. When you go for an aim shot, even if you go for the body, which, which gives you the same uh, percentage chance to hit as uh, a normal shot, you still do get a little bit more uh, critical chance. Like, I think 20 or 30% more. So it's worth it. Can go for anything. Let's go for the brain. Let's try to break his brain. Yep, yeah, there we go. Critically hit in the brain for 10 hit points. If it were human, you would swear it's pretty pissed off. Well. I would be pissed off if I got shot in the brain for all those three seconds of life. Still pretty good. Wasn't there more munition? Impact. I'm not too new. Right, so we have four tails, a hundred bucks. Let's see how Ian is doing in terms of ammo. He's been shooting twice as much as me. He may be running a bit low. Let's give him. Let's give him a round. Maybe even give him more, but that'd be fine for now. Right. Well, we we have earned five hundred experience for protecting Shady Sands and killing all the Rat Scorpions. I don't know if you're aware, but if you start, I think if you start with the explosive skill, or maybe there was another place where you could find it, but if you have dynamite on you, you can actually blow the, uh, the cave entrance and save yourself all of that hassle. Just for you to know. But I've honestly never used it as a, as a way to get through west. Now let's let's first aid elves. Let's first aid Was it a fire? Close. Six. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's pretty difficult. What happened to the... Okay, well, this was a good place to make a quick save since... 
apparently we've lost... Oh, no, I've just switched. Yeah. Yeah. Was it VF? Yeah, no, no problems. It's really hard to obtain dynamite this early in the game. Wow, okay, what? Mm. I heal myself for two, but I heal him for five? Really? He's still wounded, though. I'm giving him three more hit points. By the way, how far am I from my top two? Oh yeah, let's... Uh, let's try to heal him even more. Okay, that's about it. So let's get out of here. Select. Naturally. Go back to Shady Side. And uh, let's boast about our victory to Seth. Our entire town is grateful to you for destroying the Rat Scorpions. Thank you. What can I do for you? I already know a place. What about the raiders? Oh, blah. Well, no, you were no team. I'm considering playing on a different screen. Just so that this doesn't happen all the time. Maybe I'll try... I'll play around with the resolution for next time. Yeah, so, uh, Razlo. I think we have stuff for you here. Can I help you? Well, I do need healing. Of course you do. No, I'm, I'm not lying. Like, I'm hurt. For realsies. You're barely hurt. Yeah. Your point. I suggest a good night's sleep and some rest. You will heal naturally over time. So you didn't heal me. Oh, wow. You are a lazy person, I so I have a sample of the red scorpion poison. Can you do something with it? Let me see the sack. Yes, I can do something with this. Here, take this as a free sample. It seems to work well against red scorpion stings, of course, but it shows much potential as a general anti-venom and poison cure. Yeah. I need your help. Sorry, can't help you. So I guess we are gonna be sleeping here. However, who is this guy? Hello, I'm sorry, but I'm not feeling too well right now. Please, if you can help find a way to find the rat scorpions, talk to my brother Seth. So, if you remember in the start, Seth has uh, his brother coming back wounded and poisoned by the rat scorpions. So, something that we can do here, being the uh, good-natured dudes that we are, we are going to heal him up. Thank you so much for helping me. My name is Jarvis, and I'm Seth's younger brother. Please, if there's anything you need to know, just ask. Uh, so, tell me about your brother. 
Seth's a very good fighter, he's very determined, a little too much sometimes, still he's devoted to the welfare of our village. Um, tell me a bit about your town. Shady Sands was founded by a great ancestor of our current leader, Aradish. He could tell you more of the story. We have a well and irrigation, so we do well for ourselves. So I suppose that we're just chatting then. Thank you. And also thank you for the tasty 400 experience points. Yuck, yuck. I wonder. Oh yeah, by the way, this is a good um this is a good reason to explore a little bit, I think. Cuz it's night time and um I'm supposed to get some sleep at some point to heal up. So it would make uh some sense to look for a bed. So let's look around for an inn or uh, anything of this sort. And here it is. Oh boo. Mm. And the bowl. Uh, maybe I want to read something before I go to bed. So Ian, I'm taking the bed, you can sleep on the table, deal with it. Oh, now you have something to say, don't you? So let's learn something about scouts. Eh, well, uh, I don't know, a place where uh, travelers can sleep, rest. Anyway, we found this seemingly empty house. So, why not have a good read in bed and uh, leave it off? Didn't sleep anything off. But, I did learn a lot about wilderness survival techniques. Yeah. Well, now I'm so excited from the wilderness read that I think I will be taking a little stroll through town now that I am a uh, proclaimed hero and victor with the fight against the horrible rat scorpions might as well take a stroll through town it's night so it's uh, a bit of a better breeze it's better here we get Get a shit in. A crude but effective toilet. There are some leaves dropped into the hole to manage the odor. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to wait for morning so Razzler could make some more antivenom for me. The rest I'll throw away. But it's good to have uh, one or two in the inventory. But yeah, the, the red scorpion, the, the tails are super heavy. So I'll be either turning them into into anti-venom or dropping them off. Well, what is this? Another good read we found. I see something that I have no idea of what it is. It is in fact a cat's paw magazine. But we don't know this yet. On further inspection, you still have no idea what this is. It's a magazine, dude, come on. I think there was a sub-quest somewhere about collecting all of them across the game, like 9 or 10, so that you had to give them to one of the zombies later on. But I certainly don't 
remember all of the locations. It's late, children. Go to bed. Wow, another dude with a knife. Did you know I shot a rat scorpion once? Wow, a merchant. Well, hello there, wanderer. I trade and sell goods to the fine people of Shady Sands. Would you like to see my wares? Sure as hell would. So what do we have? We have knives, spears, sledgehammers, tons of sticks, brass knuckles, rocks. I always wanted to have goose, yeah, of course, of course. And a crowbar. And some bullets. And some good stuff. Hmm. Okay, well, well. Um, should I sell the... I don't know what this is. I mean, a merchant would be more knowing of things, so... Maybe I just showed it to him, and he says, well, uh, actually, that might come in handy to me, so I'll give you 50 bucks for it. Yeah. What else would we want to sell? We don't really have much. Except the Mantats. There is some good stuff here. All the books I can get. Flares, um, a multi-tool. I don't remember if there was ever a... I don't think that there was a heavy repair quest. A bag. I'm not gonna use the bag. I'll run my inventory as it is. I would like these jacket hollow points though. Do I want the armor piercing? Probably want this. 352. First aid. I mean, the experience we get from the first aid is negligible, and uh, sooner rather than later. And the amount of healing that we get from the uh, first aid will also become negligible and we will move entirely to uh, stim packs. So I don't think there's a point to this. This is a little bit metagaming from my side, uh, but just giving you an idea of my train of thought. Okay, I think with the Mantats we'll be able to... How about a rat scorpion tail? Would you like one of those? You would. Hmm, okay. 340, so I'm 12 short. Really have Unless I want to buy all the bullets. Nah, that's still not gonna cut it. So if I were to put another mantat here. 620. If I buy all the bullets and this and this, we are at 644. <sighs> what can we take out of this equation that we don't? Uh, the multi tool 521. Well, I'm guess I guess I'm giving him 20 24 bucks here. This is usually not a good game mechanic, as in, you usually want to trade out more items in order to free up space in your inventory, rather than uh, giving away your currency. 
you essentially want to turn everything you're not going to use into currency so that you save a uh, carry load. But this is again a bit of metagaming. Oh, quiet. Thanks and see you around. And let's try to once again find a quiet place and read our new book. Hello. Welcome to Shady Sand, stranger. What's the deal with this place? We are a true community. We work all uh, we work and share together. How do you survive here? We have farms and irrigation, and we heard Brahmin. Everybody contributes their skills to making something useful. Who's your leader? I think I already know that. But to confirm. Aradash is our current elder. With his experience, uh, he helps to lead the community. Advises. So... Do I want to bother you more? I don't think so. Was there an item here? And there was a, a hoe. Wait. Yes. There's a sledgehammer too. Oh, this is probably the irrigation. It's a well. It most certainly is. You see the water supply to Shady Sands? This is too little water to supply your vault. Oh, fair enough. Brahmin. I have never seen Brahmin. What is a Brahmin? An animal, the animal grunts, but is otherwise unresponsive. Oh, there's the hole. Oh, it's a shovel. Mobile. Where's the farmer? Your peasant. This is in a shady sand. Already had station. Peasant. Supposed to be a farmer here. in this hut to be ah there it is ah nothing to say to you stranger well fair enough there is a sledgehammer here but let's just give a good read And now we know a lot more about uh, Wilderness Survival, again. Oh, the rope though. Well, let's say that this is where we spend the night, yeah? Already day, so. No oh, rope, I wanna eat a rope. The uh, sledge. I really don't have much in the way of narrative here, but I remember that I do need the rope. Ah, oh, there he is. Have a good one. Thanks for joining. Hello there, farmer. Hello. What can I do for you? What's your name? I'm called Curtis. What can you tell me about your village? 
Our village is small, but we support ourselves. Aside from the attacks by raiders and the occasional red scorpion, we have no problems. Aradish is a good leader. What are you doing? I'm a farmer. They're irrigated. Uh, we irrigated the desert many years ago. Although the wasteland is harsh, it is possible to grow things with patience and time. You have all of your uh, fields planted right now. You could probably do better with crop rotation. Crop rotation? What's that? You only plant some of your fields, allowing the others to get back some of the nutrients that the plants used up. You let the other fields become fertile again by just uh, tilling up whatever grows there. Huh, never thought of that. Makes sense though. Good idea. And we got 500 XP for our advice. Uh, the reasoning why I did give the advice is that uh, growing up in the vault would make... Uh, so the vault has a library and you should be a bit more knowledgeable than the regular person. Let's see if we can trade off this uh, sledgehammer here. 120 bucks. Is there anything else I want from him? Maybe I want my all back. Let's leave it as it is for now. How are we doing on inventory space? We have 78. Uh, what was it here? So, uh, it's actually, we have 78 picked up rather than... Hmm. It, it's weird. So, in Fallout 1, it doesn't show you uh, the amount of space that you have, but the one that you've Beacon, or was it the other way around? It was the weird one. Uh, so, anything else to look around for our stroll through town? Doesn't appear to be the case. So, oh yeah, let's go back to Aradish and. Uh, Tell them all about our grand victory. Ah, things are much more settled now. Draslo has been working on a cure for the rad scorpion poison, and with that, we should be able to fight what's left of them. It was nothing. Can I ask you some more questions? What do you wish to know? Eh. Thanks, bye. What about Tandy? Where's Tandy? Yo, Tandy! Killed a bunch of rat scorpions. Hey, Tandy! You're not here. Hmm. Might as well see what's in here. Want a knife? Where is Tandy? She couldn't have been abducted, could she? Greetings. What may I help you with this fine day? Can you tell me more about Shady Sands? Shady Sands is much like a family, one that keeps to itself. What kind of things do you have around the here? Are on the south side. The Brahma pens are north, although the smell is I feel quite intense this time of year. Anything else? Are small and self-sufficient, so there is little else to tell. Thank you. Can I ask a few more questions? Certainly. What do you wish to know? Hmm. What's going on around here? Ah, things are much more settled now. 
It was not in the Thanks, bye. Oh, Tandy. Tandy! Don't you go wandering off now. Stop it. Stop it, let me talk to you. Hello again. What can I help you with now? Can I ask you a few sure, more questions? Yes. I've never been out of here, so I don't know what help I can be. So, what you need? Um. <sighs> Nothing much since you whomp those rad scorpions. Gee, I wish I could have seen that. Well, in all fairness, so did I. It was dark, and uh, I was mostly shooting in the uh, direction that the uh, scorpion hisses came from. And Ian seemed to have a much better, a much better time than me during those caves. But yeah, yeah, uh, I am most definitely the uh, hero of the day. I did learn to do the shoot bangs a little bit better, so that's something. Well, thanks for talking. We don't get many strangers here, so it's always good to talk to new people. Well, see ya. Bye. Now, oh, Razlo, I got some more tales for you, buddy. Can you can you do something about it? Wicked. By the way. I do even have some more tales for you. Lovely. So now we are very much down in carry weight. We have two antidotes. For whatever reason. And... We should be all set to go. Got a good amount of ammo. Maybe I should give Ian some. Yeah, this, uh, this does seem like a good Compromise. Our game has been saved. And I think that that's about it that we ought to do in the um, 80 cents for now. So, onwards to more glory in Vault 15. Let's go to vote 15. In the shack, where there is a rad scorpion. I think there's always a rad scorpion in this shed. Five percent, so might as well go for an aim shot. Go for uh... rain. Nope. Wasted potential. Okay, we just took turns to beat them up. We got ourselves a level for our troubles. But this was supposed to be the location of the vault. How come there's nothing here? Oh wow. Okay. This is an old shack, it is barely standing and seems to have been looted long ago. Also there is a ladder. 
And I think that this is where we will be uh, cutting it short. So I'm just going to give myself some more uh, points. Hey, what was skilled? Yeah, this is a very handicappy perk to have. A uh, trait, that is. Plus 5 skill points per level, but perks only 4th level instead of 3rd. This actually hits hard, um, because you lose... I think 20 was the top level? Was the level cap? I don't remember. But yeah, you, you, lo you lose a lot of good perks here because of this. Either way, let's pump up our skills. I am more confident with my gun, so I'm gonna try and pump it up to a hundred. Can we? Yes, we can. First aid, zero point. With beyond this point, I don't really think so. Uh, yeah, lockpick. Maybe wilderness and again my vault experience. Uh, maybe just a small hobby. I carry around a small lock, uh, and I fiddle fiddle around with it, trying to unlock it with bobby pins and whatnot. So yeah, maybe I've gotten a little bit better at it. They this much better at it. Barter. I have bartered a little, so yeah, it's logical to pump it up a little bit. I think that's about it. Yep, just give it a nice quick save. And I think this will be it for our first session of Fallout roleplayed. It may be going a bit slow for now and I'm trying to get a grip on how to approach the game this time around. I think we didn't do too much uh, irrational, illogical things. And from here on out things are pretty straightforward. So um, there will be narrative in the game that will be guiding my hand for future steps. Uh, so that would make sense. Yeah. So thank you all for joining me in the in my first steps of this adventure. Well, the first steps for this iteration of this adventure. I hope to see you again next time, which will probably be next week, at some point. Uh, tomorrow, I will be streaming at about. 1800 UTC and I will start the building of the untamed beasts. I did get a bit of super glue today so I am ready, willing and able to start a new build project. So that about covers it up. Let me know if you have any ideas on how you would like to see the character progression go. If you have any ideas on um, some quirky little character traits that he might uh, have or develop during the course of the game that we can use to roleplay him a little bit better. For now though, I have been Bacicolio. I wish to all of you a lovely rest of your evening. Keep doing what you love, keep loving what you do, and I will now be signing out. Bye guys, till next time.